Hey again, so this video, I've gotten a few questions on like contact hair. Um, most of you know that I wear my glasses most of the time. Um, I'm really only wearing my contacts just to make my videos because I, you can see my makeup better. Um, it does make me, I think I look better without glasses, but I haven't found any contacts that are actually comfortable, um, I can actually see okay with them. Um, I've been wearing contacts since I was 14, so I've been wearing them for almost 10 years. And um, I've been wearing the AccuView 2s for these. I've been wearing these for like the last nine years and I've noticed like after I had my daughter or once I got pregnant with my daughter my eyes like completely changed. So these aren't fitting as comfortably in my eyes and I'm just tired of spending a lot of money on contacts that you know I'm not able to wear or they're just not fitting me properly. Um, I've been having a lot of issues with contacts lately so that's really why I haven't bothered with them. Um, just because I haven't found a brand that really works for me and I've tried just about every brand out there so um, but these are what I've been wearing I don't wear them all day I can't they just they start bothering my eyes my eyes get all red um, they feel like they're gonna fall out sometimes they do I just um, this is just gonna be like a contact care video so I'm just gonna kind of go over um, how you should take properly take care of your contacts. So basically, when you go to your eye doctor and you get fitted for the right contacts, um, you pick out the ones that you like and that fit comfortably. And it could be AccuV. It could be they have AccuV has all kinds of different brands. They have AccuV Daily. They have AccuV Color. They have AccuV um, Oasis. They have. Um, they just have that. The list is endless. So you can order your contacts or your doc your eye doctor will give you a script to go get your contacts from either Walmart or wherever. And um, what you want to do is before you even touch your eyes, touch your contacts, you want to wash your hands with soap and water before you before you touch anything. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a contact case, which looks like this. They come in different variety, style, color, um, you can normally find these for like a dollar or so at the store or you can get a case, uh, like a big pack of them for like maybe four or five dollars. Now what you want to do is when you open up your case of contacts, they're going to come looking like in these little cases here. Your contacts are already in there floating around in some uh, contact solution. So after you wash your hands, you're going to peel back the little seal. You're going to take your contact out and you want to make sure that it looks, when you're holding it, you want to make sure that it looks almost like a bowl, otherwise it's not, it's inside out and you want to fix it. Otherwise, if you don't and you put it in your eye, it's going to pop out and it's not going to stay. Um, so when you, once you take the contact out of the little, the little case here, you want to take your contact solution, which I use the Opti Free Express, and all you're going to do is you're going to take your contact between your two fingers, and you're going to pour this in between, or you're going to pour this over your contact, and you just kind of want to lightly just want to make sure it's clean. And then once you're done cleaning the contact, you're going to place it on your finger, bowl up, and then you're going to place it in your eye. I already have mine in. I did my makeup, so I don't want to ruin it, but. Um, how I do it normally is I pull this lid down, I pull this lid up, and then I just kind of place it on. And then sometimes you kind of have to blink, blink, blink until it gets kind of positioned right. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Now when it comes to taking them out, um, what I do is, again, I just kind of down, pinch them, and it comes out. And then you always want to make sure you have fresh contact solution in here. And you want to make sure that it covers the entire contact. Otherwise, it's going to get dry and it's going to be no good. 
but you want to always make sure you have clean contact solution in here. Every time you wear your contacts, you want to dump it out, put new solution in. Um, what else? When you're wearing your contacts, make sure you always have some kind of eye drops with you. Um, I have mine. I use, um, I forget what the brand, I think uh, Visine. And all you want to do is throughout the day, if your eyes start getting dry and they start getting red, just put a couple of drops in to kind of help replenish um, your contacts and your eyes. And I wouldn't recommend wearing contacts for more than maybe seven to ten hours a day. Your eyes are going to start straining. Um, they're going to get really red and dry. So um, I know with me, I can't wear them more than like eight hours because my eyes start getting really bothersome, which again could be because I don't these contacts really aren't working for me anymore like they were. Um, but pretty much just make sure you keep your contact solution clean. Change it every time that you wear your contacts. Make sure you clean your contacts before you put them in your eye. Always wash your hands before you put, before you even touch your contacts, touch your eyes. And, um, you know, just make sure you take good care of them. And make sure if you're wearing, like these ones here are monthly, um, contacts, so they're good for a month. Make sure that you you're tossing them out like after your month is up. Um, you don't really want to wear them longer than that because they could deteriorate. I mean, you could have a lot of problems. So make sure that you follow the guidelines with your contacts. If they're daily, toss them out every day. If they're weekly, toss them out by the end of the week. Uh, don't overuse them because you could have issues. You could get an infection. You, you never know. So make sure you follow the guidelines. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much everything that I was told. That's how I kind of been doing my routine. So, um, so yeah, I hope this was informative for you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll talk to you later. Bye.